Do you know that creating and selling courses is now easier than ever before? And the best part of this is you can actually do this for free and start making money online through this means, either as a major source of income or even a side also for yourself. And that's why on today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this using your mobile device. And the reason why I'll be looking at the mobile device is because I believe a whole lot of people out there have easy access to the mobile devices compared to other type of devices. And yeah, without wasting much more time, let's get right into the tutorial. Before we proceed properly into today's tutorial, I'm KidCast in case you're new to this channel. And on this channel, I do create highly informative videos based on money, business, artificial intelligence, and also skills development. So if you're very much interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe, drop a like on the video, and also share with your friends and family members. So the very first thing you all want to do is to ensure you have these four things open on your mobile device. The first thing is going to be Google Slides. This is it over here. And then the second thing is Canva. And then the third thing you want to ensure you have open on your device is ChatGPT, which is going to be our AI tool for the sake of today's tutorial. And the final thing you want to have open on your device is going to be seller.co. This is seller.co. This is where we're going to be selling our course materials to make sales. Now, going back to the very first thing I mentioned, which is Google Slides. To simply install Google Slides, you simply want to head to your App Store or your Play Store. Once you head there, you want to search for Slides. Or you can just search for Google Slides. And then all you have to do is to download install and also open it so now we have google slides now the next thing you want to do is to do the same thing for canva too so same thing applies all you have to do is to search for canva now once you search for canva all you want to do is to download install and also open it so now we have canva as well and now the third thing which is going to be our ai tool is going to be chat gpt to so simply open ChatGPT, you want to type in chat.openai.com on your web browser. And then it's to take you to ChatGPT. All you have to do in case you haven't used ChatGPT before is to simply continue with your Google account and then you'll be brought to this main interface. And then the final thing is Seller. To so simply open Seller, you just want to head to the site seller.co. And then once you head to the site, this is where you're going to be brought to. Now, before we sell our course material, we need to create our course material. To create your course material, it is very easy, especially in today's world. All you have to do now is to head to Google Slides, open Google Slides, click on this plus icon over here, and then you want to select New Presentation. Now, for the sake of today's tutorial, I'm going to be creating a course based on how to bake bread and also how to bake cake so i'm gonna name it baking course and then all you have to do is to click on create now once you click on create it's gonna bring you to this page just like a powerpoint presentation now let's get started so i'm gonna name it a baking class for beginners all right you just want to do the same thing based on whatever course you want to create even if it's a video editing course a fashion course or a food course, whatever course at all you have in mind to create. So all you have to do right now is to simply edit this and change it to the name you want to use. So I'm just going to edit this and change it to Baking for Beginners. Great. And now, in case you have a subtitle, you can as well insert it over here. So I'm going to put for the subtitle bread and cake great now in case you want to change this design probably you don't like it to be plain all you have to do is to come here and now we're done with the front page for the cost so baking for beginners bread and cake now let's create a new slide so you want to click on this plus icon at the bottom right and now let's go for title and body so this is going to be introduction so introduction just double click on it and then type in introduction great let's add another slide title and body now this time it's going to be based on 
ingredients. All right. So ingredients for bread. All right. And then another slide. I'm going to make it ingredients for cake. Now, please note, you can as well do this for whatever type of course you're thinking of. This varies because this is just an example of whatever course you might be thinking of. And then I can say the next slide is going to be the step by step, more like the methodology. So I'm going to put in steps. And then add again steps continuation. In brackets, continuation. And now, a whole lot of people out there don't know how to actually start or they don't know what to put to actually make it more engaging. And that's why we have our AI tool to use. So I'm going to go back to ChatGPT. And now, when I ask ChatGPT, write me a complete course for baking bread and cake then i can say start with introduction move to ingredients to use and finally steps to take to bake both bread and cake write them separately please know whatever you ask chat gpt is the exact thing it's actually going to give you so you want to ensure you write whatever thing you have in mind completely so it can actually give you that particular thing you want so as you guys can see i already inserted what i wanted and now you have chat gpt giving us all we have to put inside our course and now all we have to do now is to simply look at this I even like this title, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, introduction. So I'm simply just going to copy this, hold it down, right? Or you can double click. And then you want to copy this. And let's stop over here. Now, please note, in order to ensure that it's actually whatever you're going to put in your course material is more like what you are doing yourself. All you have to do is after you copy this and go back to Google Slides, okay, we come here, go back to Google Slides and you paste it. You want to ensure you, you know, make some adjustments or add in your own word to make it very unique. So for example, I'm going to remove this introduction and also clear out this space. All right. So baking is both a science and an art mastery. Now I can say understanding instead, understanding Okay, understanding the basics of bread and cake baking opens up a world of culinary possibilities. Okay, this course is designed, I can say this course is here to guide you. All right, and then you want to do the same thing to whatever thing you're actually copying from ChatGPT. Now, let's proceed to the ingredients. So, I'm going to go back to ChatGPT again. All right, and now let's look at the ingredients for bread. So, I'm just going to copy this. All right, copy and then come back here and then paste it. Great. So now we have the ingredients. And like I said, you want to ensure you make some adjustments to ensure that it's actually unique to yourself. And then want to do the same thing for cake. So I'm going to come here to cake. All right. So I'm going to copy these for cake. And if you want, uh, you know, this is just an example. All right. This is just an example. This is just an example of a course anyone can actually decide to make. Okay. But the same thing applies. You just want to use Google Slides and also you want to use ChatGPT to make it faster for yourself. So now we have the ingredients for bread and we also have the ingredients for cake. So now the next thing now is the steps. So we're going to say steps for cake. Steps for cake. All right. Then I'm going to come back here to the steps for cake. I'm going to copy this. All right and then copy and then i'm going to come back here and paste it all right so as you guys can see it looks tiny but we'll come back to that later on 
So now I'm going to come here to steps for bread. All right. Then I'm going to delete this. Come back here again to chat GPT. Scroll up to steps for bread. Then I'm going to copy this. Copy and then come back here again. All right. And then paste it. So now, as you guys can see, it's very tiny, but we're just going to adjust that right now. So all we have to do right now, let's start with for cake. We want to zoom in, you know, it's a mobile device, so no problem. So all you have to do is to remove all this excess space in between. All right. So let's start by removing all the space in between. All right. Delete. Okay. Up. And then you can drag this up a bit. So let's zoom out again. Let's zoom out and then drag this over here. Now, once you're done, you can simply click on this and then you want to take this towards this area where you have bolt. Once you click on it, you want to click on bolt. All right. And then we can as well come back here again where we have the space. So you can take it up. All right. Now I want to do the same thing for that of the bread. Okay. So we're just going to come here where we have the space, clear out the space. All right. Come here again. Come here again. Come here again. Come here again. All right. Okay. All right. Great. Now, once you're done, just want to, you know, click outside and click on it again and then click on bolt. All right. Now, in case you want to make it bigger, all right, in case you want to make the font, you know, larger than this, all you have to do is to drag this. Okay. Just want to drag this like this. Great. And then you can drag it up. Same thing applies to that of the cake. Okay. You just want to drag this. Then it becomes bigger. And as we all drag this particular heading up to give it more space. All right, this is just an example, guys. This is just an example, all right? So you wanna ensure you do your adjustments. You wanna ensure that the cost you're actually providing is actually valuable and people can actually understand what you're doing, all right? Now, after the steps for each of them, probably wanna add our conclusion, all right? So we wanna come here to title only, for example, or better still, better still, let's add the normal, you know, same title and content again. So title and body. And then let's come back to chat and tell chat, write me a nice and engaging conclusion. Great. And our chat is going to give us a very nice conclusion to use. So all we have to do is to do the same thing. Like I always say, you want to ensure that whatever you're copying, you make your own adjustments to it. So copy and then come back here again, paste it here, and then come here and then type in conclusion. All right. Great. And now we have our course ready. All right. Let's say this is what we want in our course material. All right. Let's say this is what we want in our course material. And then probably at the end of the day, okay, at the end of the course material, after conclusion, we want to add some links or some websites or like your own email, you know, where they can actually message you. Okay. Things like that. So you can just type in, um, reach me, reach me. Then you can just type in your mail. Let's say it's, uh, Shibami Kes 140 like that at iCloud, things like that. Okay. Okay. So let's say iCloud.com you know, or you have, you know, your own uh, number. You can as well insert your number. Let's just say this is our number, something like this. All right. Then you want to insert it. Okay. So, and now once you're done with this, once you're done with everything, all you have to do is to go back. And now once you go back, you simply want to click on this right you want to click on this three dots over here and then you want to click on save as powerpoint all right you want to click on save as powerpoint all right so you want to click on save as powerpoint and now once you've saved it as powerpoint we are ready to go to seller 
But then there's something we haven't done, which is the cover, which is the particular thing that would actually draw people to want to, you know, buy our course material. Now, like I said, this is just an example, all right? This is just an example to show you guys how to go about it. You want to ensure that whatever you're creating it looks very, very well, and whatever you're creating looks more attractive, and you know, it has to be very, very valuable. If possible, you can add your own pictures inside, you know, you can add videos. In order to add videos, all you have to do is to go to YouTube, all right? Upload any video you have that you like to add in the material. Once you've uploaded it, you want to publish it as an unlisted. You don't want to publish it as a public. You want to publish it as an unlisted video. Now, once you've published it as an unlisted video, you want to come here to your normal Google Slides, all right? Where you have this over here. You want to come here, all right? And then whatever you want the video to be, let's say it's going to be here in the steps, for example. Let's say it's going to be here in the steps. You want to paste the link, all right? This is where you're going to paste the link. And now once you paste the link over here, the video is going to be showing, but only those who have the course can actually watch the particular video. So that's how you can actually add videos. It's very, very easy. Okay. So now that's how you can actually prepare the course material. So already we have our PowerPoint presentation for the course material. Once someone actually buys it, this is what they're going to be seeing. Now, how do you create our cover, which is the next thing we're going to be doing right now. Now to simply create your own cover, this is where we want to use Canva. So you want to open Canva over here and then you want to search for ebook cover. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Just search for ebook cover. All right. And then once you've seen that, you just want to click on it. Ebook cover. Now, the main idea of this cover is to list out whatever, you know, thing you're going to be teaching people in the course itself. So let's say you want to go for uh, this one, for example. Okay. So now all I have to do is to delete this particular picture, first of all, and then I'm going to change this to the bacon for beginners. All right. So I can reduce this then draw this like this. All right. And then this is where the subtitle is going to be. You want to ensure you're doing this. Okay. For whatever course you want to create, it can be any topic. Okay. It can be a course on anything at all. It can even be a course on how to trade or a course on how to sell, things like that, all right? It's the same method you want to apply, all right? So now I'm going to change this to the subtitle, which is bread, all right? Bread and cake, all right? So I'm going to add my name here, okay? I can just put Kisinton. And in case you have a website, you can as well insert it here or any other thing you like to add. But I don't want to insert this, so I'm just going to delete it, all right? So now over here, I'm going to delete this as well. Then make this bigger, baking for beginners, bread and cake. Great. And I'm going to insert a picture that deals with, you know, bread and cake. So the best part of Canva is I can simply come here to where you have elements and then I can search for bread. All right. And once I search for bread, we're going to see several options of bread. I'm going to go for pictures. So I'm going to come here to photos. Now, once I come here to photos, I simply want to look for something that is free. I can simply go for this one. All right. Great. I can even delete this particular one. I don't think it's needed. All right. So let's just carry it out. And then I'm going to drag this to the top. And then I can reduce this. Now, let's look for another picture that deals with cake. So I'm going to come here again to elements and then search for cake. Great. So come here to photos again, and then let's look for a very nice cake. Let's say it's this particular cake, for example. Great. So I'm going to put the images side by side. All right. Great. So let's say this is how I want it to look like, for example. Okay. So once I'm done with this, once I'm done designing with Canva, all I have to do is to come here to download. Just click on this download icon over here. Click on this over here and then you just want to wait and it's going to download in just a few seconds. And now you have it downloaded to your camera roll. Now we have our cover and we also have our slide, which is our course material itself. The final thing we have to do right now is to simply 
start selling to make sales now this is where we have to use seller so now i want to go back to our web browser all right and then want to open seller in case you haven't used seller before or you don't have an account this is how to create an account simply go to seller.co click on start selling with seller over here and now this is where you're going to insert your details okay this is where you're going to insert your details right so you're going to insert your first name okay i'm going to create a new account just for the sake of you know the new people here all right so let's see i'm going to write Keske, all right and then last name let's say kesington and then email address um let's go for Keske 257 and then you want to insert a password all right so you want to insert a very good password okay all right and then you want to confirm your password great and then you want to click on signing up for seller like you want to click on create account now once you click on create accounts you'll be taken to the main page all right as you guys can see um they just sent me a mail right now to verify just simply click on it over here click on this so you can verify the account once you click on it um you just have to verify it's very very important just click on confirm your email over here and then you can click on safari so let's go back to the normal one we're using so you just want to answer some questions over here so i'm a creator okay we want to sell so we're going to go for the first one over here and then you want to go for continue as a creator all right now once you click on continue as a creator you want to add your bank details over here this is where you want to add your bank details very very important all right we already we've already verified so um let's just refresh but anyways uh this is where you want to add your bank details just click on add bank details so i'm going to insert my account number over here you simply want to do the same thing okay so look for your bank all right and then you want to insert your account number okay this is you know when you're ready to withdraw your money very very important and then you want to click on verify account details right great now this is where you want to add your product all right this is where you want to add the cost so you want to click on add product over here all right and i want to click on add product over here you want to come here to where we have digital products okay so you come here to digital product and then you want to come here to next please note all what you're doing is for free as you guys can see you're not paying anything right now okay now once you click on continue you'll be brought to the page where you have to start setting up your product which is your course material right now so now this is where you want to add the picture you created from canva so you want to click on this and then photo library all right and then this is where you want to add the picture itself so i'm going to add this one all right so i've added it so this is what people are going to see you know this is what people are going to see uh before they can actually buy it now what's the name of the product so i'm going to say baking class for beginners all right then i can put in bracket bread and cake great now how much do you want to sell it how much is your cost all right so i can just say uh let's say two five for example all right and now we have the marketing strategy over here which is the striked out original price okay you know when someone sees a striked out price they believe it's actually discounted oh this is my chance i need to buy it right now before it actually increases again so this is just the strategy okay so i'm going to put striked out price of seven five for example great and now this is where you want to insert the description of your cost material right so um to make this faster i can simply just go back to chat for example i'll just simply go back to chat let's go back to chat and then ask chat to write me a nice detailed course description for this course and then you just want to click on enter and then it's going to create it for you in just a few seconds all right so it's going to create it for us and um let's just wait a bit and in case you're okay all you have to do is to simply copy this like i always say even if you're copying you want to ensure you add your own wordings okay you want to ensure you add your own wordings all right so copy come back here again all right come here to description you want to paste it all right and then i can decide to remove this all right immersive okay 
then I can decide to add my own wordings. In this course, you would learn how to bake bread and cake from scratch as a complete beginner. All right. So let's say I'm okay with all this. I can decide to make this bold. You know, I can decide to make this ones, you know, not bold. All right. Then you can start listing over here. Let's say um, this. I can say ingredients, ingredients needed. I can say step by step procedures and the rest. And then you can decide to add other things that you feel would actually, you know, convince people to actually buy your course material. Now, categories, this is where you want to select where your course falls into. You know, when people go to the seller network, where do you want them to see your course material? So I'm going to click on categories over here. And then I'm going to look for anything that deals with food, you know, food stuffs. Okay. So if there's nothing food here, um, let's go for orders. All right, let's go for orders. And then uh, this is where, in case you have multiple variants of your course material, um, let's say you have volume one, course material, you know, volume two, things like that. This is where you want to click on this. But if you don't have anything like that, you can just unselect it. Now, once we're done with that, this is where we want to upload our course material PDF or our course material PowerPoint presentation itself. In case you're someone that you don't want people to be able to download your course material, probably you want people to pay before they can actually, you know, read through your course material, then you want to go for read online, all right? Read online PDF. Then you have to convert the PowerPoint presentation to PDF. I'm going to show you guys how to do that anyways. But then in case you want them to be able to download and share with friends and family members, you can just go for downloadable file over here. And now this is where you want to click on this. Click on choose file. Then this is where I'm going to click on this. So now I have the cost here already. I have the cost here. But then uh, it's a PDF, which doesn't really matter. And um, over here, we have the read only. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys how to convert it. Okay. So already, this is the, the cost itself in PDF. This is the cost itself in PDF. So in case it's actually a PowerPoint file and you want to convert it to PDF, all you have to do is to download this app called I Love PDF. Okay. You want to download I Love PDF. Once you come here to I Love PDF, all you have to do is to go to PPTX to PDF. Okay. Uh, come here to view all and then you're going to see it. You're going to see um, PowerPoint PDF. So this is it over here. And once you're done, all you have to do is to come here and then upload it. Now you are ready and good to go. In case you want to ensure that um, all those that buy your course material can, you know, join a group or you want to have a community of people that actually uh, buys your course and you want to be talking to them on you know several other things probably you want to keep on you know publishing more courses and you want them to you know get a lot of notifications all you have to do is to simply click on automatically redirect the buyers to an external url but already you must have created probably a whatsapp group or a facebook group now once you've created the group all you have to do is to paste the link over here you want to paste the link of that group over here and then once you're done with that, once you're done with that, you want to click on save. But I'm not going to do that for the sake of today's video, but it's very easy. Just create a group and then paste the URL over here. But then in case you don't want to do that or you've done that and you're good to go, all you have to do is to simply click on create product over here and our course is ready and good to go and it all applies to whatever course you guys want to create it can be anything at all it can be you you teaching people how to you know start a business or step-by-step -step tutorial on getting customers or things like that and then once you're done your book or your course would be published like this and would be live on seller network so as you guys can see your product has been added our product is actually live already once you click on this link this is actually the link we're going to be using to um, promote our uh cost material so as to get sales as you guys can see this is it as you guys can see this is it all right and this is the stroked out stuff i talked about this is where we have customer reviews immediately someone buys it it goes to your account it goes to your normal seller wallet and then you can withdraw it to your normal bank account all right and now I said it as read online, but in case you want it to be, you know, offline, you just want to upload the PPTX file, like I said. 
and that is basically how to create a course and also sell with seller for free in case you have questions make sure to drop them down in the comment section below i'm going to ensure i answer every single one of them and uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed still and make sure to drop a like on the video and also share with your friends and family members so thank you guys for watching and i believe you all learned a whole lot from today's video and i'll see you guys in my next highly informative video